Welcome back to Stormworks Unlimited. This is Tater. Today I'm going to send this giant Scud missile 25 kilometers across the mainland and I try to smash a tank. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so this is my ginormous Soviet Scud launcher. I built this thing so long ago and I finally got around to updating the guidance system in the missile where now it uses the new radar systems and a different uh, way of cruise across the world so to use this thing all we gotta do is set a waypoint where we want to hit we have one set just yeah, whatever so one there that is a enemy base we type it into here we set our angle we're just gonna put it at 0.5 you can set it straight up and down you can set it you can actually shoot the flat whatever you want to do uh, we can jump in here tab out and see what we're working with that's definitely good enough and um, have a little bit of a delay set to it and then I took the rear blocks off so I can run around and jump in the seat on the missile so just like this there we go now if everything goes as planned there we go. Normally I have a set of stops that prevent it from going backwards like that, but a lot easier to get in the seat that way. So, um, so how it works, we go up to a thousand meters for a cruising altitude that keeps us way over the top of all the mountain peaks. We don't have to worry about crashing the darn thing into anything. Um, when it gets within 2,500 meters or two and a half kilometers from the target, it drops down to a 200 meter cruising altitude. And then when it gets within 1,500 meters, it turns the radar on in front of the missile and begins tracking targets. Um, so far, I haven't missed anything with it. I've hit something every single time I've fired it. Let's just make sure we have vehicle damage on. We do. Uh, and. It's been really effective. It has a total possible range around 85 to 90 kilometers. I fired it from the Arctic base and hit Spike Eight's terminal with it earlier. Um, I had to set my rocket boost way down to do that. Um, around, I think, 4%, maybe 5% rocket boost. Took forever to get there, but it made it and it hit a target, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, Right now we have the boost up 11-12% uh, or something like that. So it's still not super fast, but it gives us a reasonable range. And then uh, pretty much hit anything we want around the main land part of the game, the southern part of the game. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to fast forward the video. I know you guys don't want to watch it fly through the air for five minutes, so stand by. All right, so we're about four kilometers out now, and here in just a moment, it's two and a half kilometers, it's going to dive to 200 meters, which shortly after that, it'll kick its radar on and start tracking targets. So this is our radar indicator and our target block indicator, which we've done both. And you can see we're going dead in on a tank. And I'm sitting in a passenger seat, so there's no possible way to control anything. Didn't even die. <laughs> Let me uh, teleport over there and see what kind of damage we did. Usually the uh, yeah the tank's completely dead. Usually the missile obliterates itself when fired like that. Yeah, there it goes. And um, it kind of blew up and bounced off. So that was kind of cool. All right, you guys. So you see, I have my truck in the hangar. And you wouldn't think you could shoot a scud from in here, but check this out. I'm going to launch one with the uh, missile all the way in the down position. And then I'm going to head over to Spy Cake so we can watch it land. And it's kind of doing some mucky, but it should be fine. There it goes. Just like that. And let's roll over there to Spy Cakes. That's where I shot it. And teleport here. I think there's a tank sitting around here somewhere. Yeah, there's a tank pretty much right on the waypoint. So 
We're going to make sure vehicle damage is on. It is. And fast forward a little bit. There it comes. It's dropping altitude now. Looks like it's got a target. Poof, that tank is completely gone. And the missile is over here piled up into the train barn. So as you can see, extremely accurate. Uh, the cool thing about it is it can shoot extremely far. It's depending on how long you want to wait for it to land. <coughs> but uh, I think we should... Uh, I'm going to put this in the workshop. I have to do a little work on the truck still. Uh, the truck is still... It's, it's a pretty cool truck, but it has some definite t tuning that needs to be done on it. Uh, the missile's capable of sending data back to the truck, but I don't have the truck set up for it yet. So I'll get all that in, and I'll get it in the workshop, and hopefully you guys will uh, play around with it a little bit and see what you think. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.